Christy Lu Stout joins me now live from Hong Kong to talk more on this. So, Christy, what is expected to come out of this Middle East visit by China's envoy? Well, China's envoy for Middle East affairs is in the region to push for peace. Jai Jun says that China is willing to do, quote, whatever is conducive to promote dialogue, to reach a ceasefire and to restore peace. He also adds that the risk of a large scale ground conflict in Gaza is, quote, significantly rising. Look, China wants to present itself as a neutral mediator, but China has deep economic interests in the Middle East that it wants to safeguard, especially access to energy, access to oil and gas. Now, on Saturday, that was when Jai was in Egypt and he made remarks at the Cairo Summit for Peace. Um, Jai has visited Egypt and Qatar. He is also visiting the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and other countries in the region. And Jai says this, he says China has provided and will continue to provide humanitarian aid to Palestinians through UN channels, through bilateral channels, and that China wants to promote a two-state solution. Now, according to a foreign ministry readout of the Cairo summit, we have it, let's bring it up for you. It reads as follows, quote, to end the cycle of the conflict between Palestine and Israel, it is essential to implement the two-state solution, establish an independent state of Palestine, and realize peaceful coexistence between Palestine and Israel, unquote. And this is what we heard last week from Chinese leader Xi Jinping. Um, on Thursday, it was his first public comment since the war broke out. She called for a two-state solution, and he called it, quote, the fundamental way out. Now, what have we not heard from China? We have not heard any condemnation of Hamas. China has refrained from condemning Hamas for its brutal and coordinated terror attack on Israel on October the 7th, and that has prompted anger and disappointment from Israel. It's also prompted criticism from the U.S. Back to you.